So this is the, um, the free wheel from Wasa Motors uh, install video. Gonna keep it short. I just got the, uh, the three tensioner bolts undone there. Stuck a little Allen wrench to uh, keep the tensioner pulled back when I maneuvered it out. And then I accidentally took off the, uh, the uh, uh, snap ring here. You didn't have to do that. You could have just left it all together. And then all you gotta do is just get this big bolt out right here, this guy. Um, just stick your your triple square in there with your uh, impact and then make sure you take your wrench and jam the wrench between where the chain comes down and around and in between a tooth of the gear you know to the left hand side so that way when you're loosening it'll just break the bolt right out and um, so once you break this main bolt with the triple square head you can sort of wiggle the sprocket and sort of maneuver the, the chain tensioner out of place and just slip it out without undoing your uh, your crank or anything else and um, so there it is and freewheel you just retorque this this is 38 foot pounds approximately 38 or uh, 39 foot pounds and um, make sure your spacer goes in behind your sprocket and use their custom bolt and took the freewheel and the, sp you know, the sprocket itself. I took the sprocket and then took the little spacer and I was holding both in my hand on my with my left hand and then at the same time sort of put it up there together with the tensioner assembly with my right hand and made sure that you know you gotta tuck this in here behind behind this edge and make sure it fits nice in there in that little recess pocket and once you do that and you get, make sure your plastic chain guides are up in there good you know you can you know sneak in around your chains then you know really you can probably push it up in there good enough and uh, really get it closer close enough to the bolt hole so yeah there it is right there you can see I just got to put my bolts back in and then this sucker you know torque this down again I didn't torque this yet um, just wanted to make sure you know everything's good I got my space little spacer behind there so it's the chains properly aligned and there's no side load on the sprocket or nothing and we're good to go and so now the balance shafts have been successfully disabled in this engine and are not going to be prone to failure in the future.